Hello, my name is Eric Etherton, and I will be doing a Let's Play demonstration of Hair Na and closely studying the cultural influences that went into the creation of the game. So Hair Na was created by Momo Pixel, an art director and a game designer whose inspiration came from uh, just being in public spaces and all the people that just reach in and touch the hair without even acknowledging that it might be extremely offensive and invasive. And she actually states that every African-American woman she's talked to has actually faced this issue, so it's not just a singular issue, it's something that every African-American woman has to face. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the beginning gives a little context of it, how you're an African-American woman trying to travel and people just keep on touching your space, keep on touching your hair in your personal space. So yeah, Ava loves the travel, but is hesitant. People often invade her personal space by touching her hair without permission. So help Ava catch her flight and protect the hair by stopping the reaching hands. So here you're going to select your avatar based on skin tone and hairstyle. So I'm just going to go with this one and uh, just this hairstyle. And here you choose your destination, so the Santa Monica Pier sounds nice. And here are instructions to play the game. Use arrow keys to swat the hands, and then you advance to the next level when your knob meter reaches the top. Then if the time runs out and you don't reach it, then you restart the new level, you restart the level. And uh, as you can see, it's depicted in a pretty everyday setting. You're in a hair salon, so that just shows that um, this issue happens to African-American women in every setting they go to. Um, Regardless of how uh, normal or average it is, people just can't understand that it is extremely rude to just reach in and touch their hair. So yeah, it's pretty easy at the beginning of it, but it, it gets a little bit tougher as you go on. But yeah, this game does a really good job of addressing intersectionality, which is um, the interconnecting social categories and uh, identities that kind of creates uh, an interconnected system of discrimination. And this game kind of address in this game addresses the um, African American women that have to face this discrimination. Um, yeah, being that they're that they're women, people just assume like, oh, they're passive, and they'll be understanding if I just touch the hair real quick, and and I, I'm not in any danger because they're women. Uh, they they just assume that, and being that they're African American, um, people just uh, have the impression that their hair is exotic and must be touched, and but they don't even consider that it is really offensive. So yeah, as you can see, it's getting a lot tougher now. This is the second to last level, so I have one more after this. But yeah, going off um, um, race um, in terms of hegemony, Audrey Lord does a really good job of of uh, saying why um, uh, white uh, people in the white community might feel inclined to do this. Um, she states that our society has an inherited belief that um, there's one race superior over the other. And in this case, um, it is uh, people of the white community. And as you can see, most of the hands, uh, actually all the hands are, are people that identify in the white community. So um, it just goes to show that people in the white community just assume that they have the superiority, uh, superiority over people of the African American community. And they just feel inclined to touch the hair and they have no problem with it just because they're white and they feel that African American women are an inferior. But also I think this game is important because it gives representation to African American women in games because you don't really see that very often. Like you see uh, games with characters that are African American or are women, but rarely do you see African American women in games. And just the fact that it gives it in the context of an issue that they face every day makes it all the more identifiable. So yeah, this game is, is uh, getting a little tougher now, as you can see, but I'm just about to win. And every time you miss a hand, then your, your bar goes down. So you just gotta be sure to hit a hand every time. So yeah, uh, I did win the game right there, so it's a pretty great feeling, I feel pretty accomplished. But yeah, I think this game does a really good job of uh, providing representation to a group that hardly gets any representation in games and it also addresses some issues that they face every day and it also spreads awareness to people that don't identify in this group and it shows that um, they're kind of fed up uh, african-american women are really fed up with this and people should really stop in this game kind of just addresses that and hopefully uh, people are more aware that it is extremely invasive and rude to, to do this so Hopefully uh, people are understanding. So if you like my video, like and subscribe and check out the other ones. Thanks.